And we've got lots of these lovely words online that describe new phenomena. So a lot of people will probably be familiar with what are sometimes called autocorrect errors. And that's when your spell checker thinks it knows what you mean better than you do. So it changes a word into being book instead of cool, for example. And there's a lovely term for these that some people call them Cupertino errors, Cupertino mistakes. And that's because Cupertino is the place in California where Apple has its headquarters. And in the very early days of spell checkers, some spell checkers didn't know the word cooperation if you didn't put a hyphen in it. They thought it was a spelling mistake. And if you had your spell checker sent to automatically correct, then it would change every instance of the word cooperation into the word Cupertino. And so you'd have what were literally called Cupertinos. And if you search online, even now, in documents from the early 90s, like stuff from the European Union, for example, you find them talking about Cupertino between member states rather than cooperation because they got corrected. And of course, all those spell checkers have got much smarter with smartphones and text messaging. This has really got a whole new life of its own. There was a, a lovely instance a year or so ago when someone sending a text message in an American high school, I think, sent a message saying, I'm going to be in, in the West Hall for meeting their friends. But it got auto-corrected by their phone, and instead of gunner, it changed it into gunman. And uh, they didn't notice and sent the message, and the police were called and the school was evacuated. Unfortunately, it was just an autocorrect error, but it was rather wonderful.